what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. My name's Leslie and you are in my kitchen down on the farm on this dreary rainy horrible day but it's not going to be horrible for long because we're going to make a good old strawberry dessert so if you're new here i'd love for you to hit subscribe hit that bell notification if you're not new you know how much i love and appreciate each and every one of you so let me gather everything i need i'll tell you a little bit about the recipe and then we will move on to getting it made so if you remember back to Sunday and you watched the weekend wrap up video, you know that my friend Maria came over to our house, cooked supper here, and we had a wonderful time. Well, this is the dessert because that actually at the time of this filming of this video, that hasn't happened yet. So we're making the dessert today for that. Um, our friends coming over to eat with us. So let me tell you where I... To be honest, I just recently saw this recipe on another YouTube channel. I know many of you follow Fallon over at Moss Family TV. I think this was actually an old video of hers, but she did kind of like a blast from the past type video. And this is one of the ones she put in there. And I had somehow missed it. I watched her pretty much every day, but I had obviously missed it somewhere along the way and called it this time around so we're going to make it it is super easy and super refreshing sounding and it just looks wonderful let me tell you what you're going to need you're going to need a box of strawberry jello you're going to need some boiling water you're going to need a cup of chopped cut up strawberries you're going to need a prepared angel food cake and i just did a store-bought one and you're going to need two tubs of whipped cream. And I always get the off brand. So that's what we're doing. Um, I'm going to grab the hot water and we will get started. All right. I'm going to get you guys turned down here so you can see what's happening. In my mixing bowl, I'm going in with our jello. Just a three ounce box of jello and to that I'm going to measure out a cup and a fourth of boiling water and try not to spill it on myself All right, and let's give that a whisk. We want to whisk it up really well until it's dissolved. I'll move that water so that steam, well, the steam's coming out of the bowl too. I think I'm actually going to go ahead in with my cup of chopped strawberries. And we're gonna mix right in there while it's hot. This container of Cool Whip. Whoop, flop. The whole container.
All right. Now we're just going to get that mixed in. All right, so into this, I am going to just cut up this angel food cake. Uh, it might be easier just for me to break it apart. And we're going to add that in there. And we'll get it all mixed up. I'm going to keep doing this. I'll bring you back in just a second. Okay, the angel food cake is in there and I'm just going to mash it around. We're just going to get it all stirred up and soaked up. Now it calls for um, an 11 by 7 Pyrex dish. I'm sure if all you had was a 9 by 13, it would definitely work. I happen to have the size it called for, but I know not everybody probably does. And you could probably cut down on the angel food cake a little bit and uh, put it in a nine by nine, it would probably work fine. So probably whatever size pan you have will be fine. All right. I'm gonna go pour it all in this pan. Being sure we get everything out. Can I taste it? I'm um, sure, get you a spoon. It's not gonna be as good as it will be when it sets up, but. Go ahead and taste it. Let's try. That's pretty good right there. Pretty good. They like strawberries. All right. So I am, let me get you turned back down. Get you, I'm going to put this, I'm going to actually set it in the refrigerator for a little bit before we put the topping on. And the topping is just the second tub of of uh, whipped cream, but I kind of want to give this just a chance to set up a little bit before and that hot water in there still may be a little warm and I don't want to melt the whipped cream. So I'm actually going to stick this in the refrigerator for just a little bit before we cover it with whipped cream. So there we go. All right, it's going in the refrigerator. I'll bring you back in just a few minutes. For you, it'll be just a second. But for me, it may be about 15, 20 minutes. I'm just going to let this cool off a little bit, and then we'll top it with the other tub of whipped cream. I believe it has cooled enough. And so, checking my mic, we'll put this other Cool Whip container on. I'll get you guys turned down here. Isn't that beautiful? It is so pretty. So I'm just going to dollop this right on. I've got to get to cleaning big time. The boys were here, so I've got to clean up after them. I still have boxes from the marriage retreat in my dining room. <laughs> so I need, to, I need to do some cleaning. All right, and we're just going to smear this box of Cool Whip all across. I should get out my offset spatula, but I'm not. All right, guys. That is it. I'm going to put some saran wrap on this, get it in the refrigerator, and we will taste test it maybe a little bit before supper. 
I may get it out and let Bryant taste it before everybody gets here. You guys have already seen that if you've watched Sunday's weekend wrap up. All right. So I'm going to wash up these dishes, get this covered in saran wrap, and in the refrigerator we go, and we'll bring you back for a taste test in just a little bit. All right, everybody, it's just a few minutes before people start arriving, before Maria starts to get here and her family and they start cooking. So I wanted to try this dessert. So let me call Brian in here. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. And so let, let's just scoop out a little bit. Look how pretty. All right, let's get him in here. Hey, 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 everybody. <clears throat> That's a good spot right there. That yeah. is a great spot That's right there. Right okay, there. there we go. You guys get to see me and her uh, argue over the camera. Disagree over the camera. All right, here we go. Talk beautiful. loud, I don't have the mic on. Isn't it beautiful? Where's your mic at? Here we go. <clears throat> is it cool or? Oh, that's delicious. Is it good? That's good right there. There you go. Jamie's gonna like this. Mm -hmm. Tell him why Jamie's gonna like it. He loves anything strawberry. Yep. That's really good. That is good. Simple easy. I don't know that it takes the place of my cake. But it definitely would make it like if you're wanting strawberry shortcakes. That's it. Yeah. That, that's money right there. That's really good. Delicious. <laughs> it was really good. So, hey, when we have the rest of the family here, we'll get their thoughts on it too before we sign out. But um, you tell them Maria was coming. Yeah, yep. Maria's coming. Um, they've actually already seen Maria because this is going to be a separate video. But they've Ooh. actually already seen her on the weekend wrap up on Sunday. I gotta go get the grill ready. Yep. All right. So I'll try to video the family tasting this and see what they think. So, all right, stay tuned. There's more to come. Okay, everyone. Everyone's trying the strawberry cake. So, we Pepe, what you think? Woohoo! Woohoo! Like it. I like it. Like it. Brian, what did you think? Off the chain. Off the chain. Allison? She's, yeah, a, she's yeah. eating rice. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie? Delicious. Delicious. We knew he would like it. He's our strawberry guy. Hello. What? Obviously, Isaac liked it. <laughs> Levi, how I took is a it? bite and it was delicious. And Levi had taken over. Levi took it over. So, okay. All right, Maria, what do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you have it. Guys, that strawberry dessert was absolutely amazing. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you make it. I'm going to link, I'm going to put the recipe down in the description, but I'm also going to link Fallon's at the Moss Family TV. I'm going to link her video to it as well. But it was absolutely amazing and may take the place of my strawberry cake for Easter. I'm not sure yet but it was so good and refreshing and delicious. You've got to try it. All right, thank you guys so much for joining the Farming Pastor's Wife. I'll see you next time. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.